going on peeps that's a food plot man she looks great you do have a lot of this stuff going on uh, I'm not worried about that one bit though deer actually it's actually giving the deer some cover they make them feel comfortable they got beds all through that so they're spending a lot of time here right now a lot yeah it's real bad see but i never bothered to even i just let it grow a couple of reasons why i did that it's acting as a cover crop um and again like i said the deer feel wicked comfortable in this plot all the beds all through that and they're here all day matter of fact i just had a you can see that trail it's one of the main trails i just i'm sitting here standing i'm standing here getting ready to make this video and i heard a deer walking and it's Saw, saw me right there the wind's going this way so it couldn't smell me but it saw me right there i could see it i think it was one of the lambs and it blew and ran off and it's not very far it's right there somewhere listening to me but this thing's doing great this plot is doing great there's a lot of browsing pressure here right now and it's completely putting up with it surviving i mean look how filled in it is it's all clover and chicory. They're keeping it mowed down, but it's surviving. It's, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna last through October. And I have a feeling it's gonna go into November now. Maybe not the plot itself, but we'll be able to hunt this. We'll definitely be able to hunt this in November. Even if they do graze it right down by then. There'll still be a week or two. They'll keep coming here and checking it. And uh, and I have a stand out about 300 yards down back here. Um, same spot I shot my eight point last year. Um, what it's doing is it's just a you got three finger ridges that come down into a valley and meet up with two other two other funnel points. It's just a major intersection. All them does are coming up from them finger ridges. And coming across the valley up into my plot and the, what the bucks do during the day is they crisscross them trails trying to pick up a hot doe scent so no doubt this is going to be a good spot this year I'm real happy with how this this plot came out for a first time plot um yeah i'm real happy i mean it's just lush with clover this is all clover all through the weeds and then, of course, down through here, I got rye and oats growing down all through there. A lot of the oats have gotten too mature now for them to be eating it. Um, but they're eating all the young stuff, all the rye. Just, it's just, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful plot, I think. I mean, other than the weeds, it is weedy, and I know. Probably that would drive some people nuts, but I'm not worried about it at all. I'll kill the weeds off in the spring. I'll kill the weeds off in the spring and let this clover come up lush. But like I said, this makes this. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, clear a lane. I'm gonna clear a lane right here, all the way to the wood line, and then I'm gonna clear another lane down through here. So at least I can shoot out into here. Right now, as it is right now, I can't shoot through this stuff. But I'm going to make it so that I can have two nice wide lanes that I can shoot through. And I'm going to leave the rest of it for hunting season. Because like I said, they're feeling comfortable in it right now. It gives them some cover. And we just got, I mean, it's just everywhere in between is clover and grass. There's all kinds of food here for them right now. And they're eating all of it. I mean, they're eating the grasses or the cereal grains. And they're eating the clover and the chicory. What little bit of buckwheat is left they're eating that those are all mature uh, oats that those are two although I, I had noticed a few areas where they are nibbling on the mature stuff too it's all seeded out i'm kind of hoping that those seeds will drop and then uh i don't know if we'll have time to have any more come up or not but any younger stuff i'm pretty happy pretty happy this is turned out exactly like I hoped it would and it's just gonna get better 
just going to get better. We're going to shoot deer off this plot this year. Even if, even if it's just does for this year, we're going to. We got all kinds of doe tags. Gonna buy a few more bonuses. And um, see what our, what our other spots are doing. We got a couple of spots that are looking pretty good too for bucks right now. I don't know exactly. Originally I wanted to bring Lily here opening day of bow season and get the doe out of the way and the deer for the Grand Slam, get it all on video and all that. But if uh, we got this one nice, decent two and a half year old six point coming out, it'd be a nice deer for Lily. He's pretty, he's pretty steady uh, on one of my farms. I got oh uh, north of here. Um, we might skip out on the plot opening day that day and try to shoot him, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. A little bit of time still left before opening day gets here, so a lot can still change. All the bucks that I had on camera all summer. Um, about a week after they all shed velvet, they all disappeared. They all disappeared. I still got a couple of them hanging around, and once in a while they show up during daylight. Um, but yeah, it's that time of year now, their velvet's off, they're starting to rub, make scrapes, and everything's changing for them, so. But anyway, yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a plot update. I'm just, I mean, look how lush this is. Compared to what it was, all this rain we've been getting has just made it pop. Still got some bare spots here and there, but it's doing its job. It's working. I'll talk to you guys later.